My name is Henry Rosenbaum. I am the general manager of Distillery of Modern Art here in Chambly, Georgia. When somebody walks in, the first thing they're going to see is the art of distilling. Our two beautiful stills, our pot still and our column still, which are gleaming in glass right off the entrance to the bar. And that is at the center of the room because that is at the center of our business. Uh, we want to distill beautiful spirits that people can enjoy, and we want to do it with quality and artistry. We craft the cocktails with the same care that we put into everything else. We want them to look beautiful and taste beautiful. So we start, we try to make as much as we can here, uh, syrups, shrubs, uh, whatever we can to do, and uh, then of course we, we add bitters, or we don't quite make those yet, but perhaps we will in the future. We can only use alcohol that we produce ourselves to serve in the bar uh, because distilleries are not allowed to purchase outside alcohol. So we view that as a challenge to be solved rather than a problem. It's always great to have the classics on the menu and the things that we can do. Uh, there's really nothing better than a vodka tonic or gin and tonic. Uh, we don't produce gin yet, but we will very soon, so we have a really beautiful vodka tonic. And our friends over at Zen Tea uh, supplied us with some blue butterfly pea flower that is a really beautiful looking blue flower that has a very neutral flavor. So we dye our Atlanta vodka, which is our straight vodka with the blue butterfly to create a really lovely indigo color. And once that hits in acid, it turns uh, a really lovely shade of violet. So we have this really beautiful looking, really beautiful tasting vodka tonic that has this really beautiful color on it. Currently behind our bar, we offer uh, straight vodka and peach vodka, along with Amaro, and we offer bourbon and rye. We currently offer, uh, out in the wider world at retail and at restaurants and bars, our vodka and our peach vodka. Uh, our Amaro will come shortly behind that, uh, followed by corn whiskey and gin, and we've just had bourbon and rye go into barrels, so hopefully in two to four years we'll be able to offer that uh, in our bottles as well. My name is Mary Howard. I'm with Distillery of Modern Art. I'm the operations manager and gallery curator. These paintings behind me are our bottle art. We've commissioned artists from uh, around the southeast and they came in and did uh, arts surrounding the spirit itself, so the gin and the corn whiskey, stuff like that. They've gone in, they've studied the, the spirit itself and then made these beautiful pieces for our bottles. So when you come to our uh, gallery, you can look in the back of the bottle and see through the bottle the, these label artists. And we do plan to change them out probably in a few years. Right now we have displayed George's Jaunty and Dexter Vines. They are two of the most well-known inkers in Atlanta at the moment. They've been inking for 25 years. Uh, Dexter is here, uh, he's born and raised here in Atlanta. And George's was born in New York, raised in Miami, and moved here to start his career. Anybody can come in and purchase their artwork. They do have some not for sale items that are more of treasures to them. Um, we do have uh, pieces from the 90s. Uh, they range from about four to $600 to all the way up to three to 4,000. Every time you turn a corner, there's something creative that you can see and spot. Uh, we have our, like we said, we have our bottle art here, we have our gallery, but also our cocktails are curated too. They are made to look like pieces of art. You're tasting a piece of art, you're smelling it, you're seeing it. It's, it's very, uh, a very an intimate situation with your own drink to have and watch your bartenders create that drink in front of you. WABE. <laughs>